Volve session number 10. We're going to start with single leg squats, as you can see here on the demo. It's going to be two sets off your left leg and then two sets off your right leg. Everything's 30 seconds on with a 15 seconds breather to either shake the muscles out or to reset ready for the next exercise. So we have single leg squats as your first drill. That's going to be mid-length. Stand facing the anchor point. Start with the elbows under, sh under the shoulders. Then you're going to descend on down and come on up. After those, we have your eye rows. The eye rows are going to be mid-length. Standing facing the anchor point. Your arms are going to start up over your ears. From there, keeping that plank position locked in, I might add. You're going to relax back. Rotate around the shoulders. Slowly descending down. And the only way back up is by pulling those arms back, pushing the knuckles into the wall or just behind you, straight above the head. After the eye rows, we have your crunches. Those are going to be mid-calf length on the ground, facing away from the anchor point, starting in that nice, strong plank position. You're going to draw the knees in and then extend the legs out. You can either have the torso nice and parallel to the ground with these, or you can add a mini little pike in there. Should this give you any grief through the wrist, you can come down onto the elbows with these. After your crunches, you will have uh, hamstring curls. The hamstring curls are going to be mid-calf length, so you can leave it the same length. You're going to roll on over and drop both of your heels in. If you have our adjustable foot cradles, then you might need to make those a little bit bigger so you can get most of your heel in. You can draw your knees in and then extend your legs out. Preferably with this one, you're going to have the hips up. Uh, for all four sets, it's going to be a grueler, but don't worry if you can't. You can always put the hips down and find your appropriate level. After these hamstring curls, we do have your high rows. That's going to be fully shortened. Standing facing the anchor point. You're going to start with the elbows nice and high. They're going to be in line with your shoulders. You're going to relax on back. The arms are going to lengthen. And then from there, you're going to row yourself back up. Again, keeping the elbows nice and high. Get a nice squeeze between the shoulder blades on this one. Keeping that plank position nicely locked in. After the high row, we have your T-Rex flies. The T-Rex flies are going to be fully lengthened. Stand facing away from your anchor point. Your arms are going to be extended out in front of you with a slight bend in your elbow. From that position there, you're then going to ease yourself forward, letting the arms open. Again, keeping the bend in the elbow. Don't lock the arms straight. If you need to, you can put one foot in front of the other, just to help out with a bit of stability on that one. Then you're going to bring the arms in, get a nice squeeze in the chest and the pectoral muscles. After the flies, we have a side plank. The side plank is going to be mid-calf length, ground sideways to the anchor point. Your top leg is going to be in front. If you need to, you can use the top hand for support. You can even take the feet out, just because the suspension train is there. Doesn't mean you have to use it for the whole four sets. Do what you can on these. You're going to do two sets one side and then two sets the other, just like you do on the single leg squats. And then after the side plank, you have a one arm row. The one arm row is going to be mid length, single hand mode, stand facing the anchor point. You're going to draw. We're going to start with the left arm, so you'll start with the left elbow past the rib cage. From that position there, you're going to relax back. The left arm will lengthen. And then you're going to row yourself up and in. Really drawing that left elbow past that rib cage. Once you've done the one arm row, you're going to have a bicep curl with a punch. So that's going to start at mid length. Stand facing your anchor point. Start with your fists up by the temples. From there, you're going to relax on back. The arms are going to naturally lengthen. Then you're going to curl those fists back up to the temples. And as you do so, once you've got the temples position, you're going to punch one hand straight up into the ceiling and then back on down. The trick with this is keeping the even pressure through the handles so that it doesn't uh, soar through the equalizer loop. You're going to finish strong with your tricep press. The tricep press is going to be mid-length, standing facing away from the anchor point. You're going to start in that nice, long, strong plank position. You're going to start with the arms out in front, and then you're going to bend the elbows. The hips and chest are going to move forward as one, and then you'll crush the handles out in front of you to come on up. Right, we're going to start and prep in five seconds on this for your single leg squats. So you've got 15 seconds to set yourself up, and that starts now. So in 
12 seconds. You're going to go for your single leg squat. That's going to be mid-length. Stand facing your anchor point. Your left foot's going to be down. Now, you can either place your right heel down or have your right foot lifted. Entirely up to you. Okay, get yourself ready and away you go. So slowly start descending on down. And then under control, drive on up. You're thinking about pushing the mat away from you. So rather than thinking of standing up, think about driving that mat away from you. As you descend down, your left knee is going to track forward as your hip comes back, keeping your chin up off your chest. You've got seven more seconds on this. So you're thinking of popping up and down in a tube on this one. So you're moving up and down rather than any kind of back and down. And relax. So that's one done. So relax there. One done. All right. You've got one more to go off this side, and then we'll change legs. Okay. Second set is in three seconds. And away you go. So smooth and steady coming on down. And then driving on up. If you start to, if you've got the leg fully lifted, don't be afraid to put the heel down. Should you start to wobble or anything along those lines, really concentrate on squeezing that left bum cheek as you drive on up. Get it as taut and as tight as you can. You got six seconds on this. Like I said, you'll get a 15 seconds breather just to shake the legs off, and then we're going to swap it to the right leg and the right leg only. And relax. All right, give those legs a bit of a shake. Going to stand on the right leg and the right leg only. Left heel down if you need to. Six seconds. One side's probably going to be stronger than another. You're about to find out which that is. All right, and away you go. So this is your third set in total, but only your first set off this side. Ten seconds already gone on your right-hand side. All right, you've got 12 seconds left on this one. 12 seconds. Now make sure it's your right knee tracking forward as your hips come back. Keeping that spine in line as well. Thinking that a long, strong body. Okay, I'm relaxed there. Well done. Relax. After these um, single leg squats, we do have your next exercise. That's going to be the eye row. That's still going to be at mid length and stand facing. Right, your fourth and final set is now. And away you go. So fourth and final set on these single leg squats. All right, you got 15 seconds. Okay, last 10 seconds on this. Like I say, you can have the eye roll after this. That's going to be mid-length. Stand facing the anchor point, and the arms are going to be up over the ears. And relax. Okay, you've got 15 seconds to prep and get yourself set up. So we've got the eye roll. That's going to be mid-length. Standing facing the anchor point. All right, you've got five more seconds. So get yourself ready. Get long and strong. Sticking your fists into the ceiling. All right, and away you go. Slowly relax on back. Rotate around those shoulders. And then pull the knuckles backwards. Punch them into the wall behind you. Or punch them up into the ceiling. The arms are going to be locked straight like they're in a plaster cast. No bending those elbows. All right, ten seconds. Last five. And relax there. Great stuff. All right, you've got 10 seconds. So four sets on this one, four sets on the eye rows. Get yourself ready. Three more seconds. Reset that plank position if you need to, and away you go. Now, thinking of that vector principle, if you need to move the feet backwards, it's going to make it a little bit easier and move them forwards that little bit harder. Okay, you got 18 seconds. 14 seconds left on this one. Last 10. All right, you have five more seconds. Second set. And relax. Well done. All right, 10 seconds. Third set coming up. If you need to, you can put one foot forward and one foot back in this offset foot position. So as you pull on up, and away you go for your third set, you can drive off the back foot a little bit. It's like a spotter, like a little helper. It's going to get you over any sticking points. All right, 20 seconds left on this third set. 15 seconds. 
Okay, last 10 on this one. Last eight. Now, keep a self-check on yourself. If your arms are starting to flare out into like a Y row or a T row, and relax there. Relax, relax. Fourth set coming up. If they start to relax out, loads of people do it. So it's the tendency as you get tired, the hands come out to the side. Keep them back up in that eye row. you got three more seconds. Fourth and final set is now. And away you go. So fourth and final set on these eye rows. You will have crunches up next. Okay, 20 seconds left. All right, 10 seconds. Like I say, crunch is going to be up next. That's a quick change going into mid-calf length, and you're going to be on the ground facing away. Three seconds, and change. All right, get yourself ready for those crunches. So that's going to be mid-calf length, ground facing away. You're going to draw the knees in. Hips are coming up slightly, and then you're going to extend those legs out. You've got three seconds ready. All right, and away you go. So TRX crunches. Mid calf length, ground facing away, draw the knees in, hips come up slightly, and then extend those legs back. 20 seconds left on this first set. Four sets of these. If you start to break down, falter or fail, put your knees down on the ground, have a little breather, and then come back up from there. Okay, you've got five seconds. If you can do all four sets of 30 seconds, outstanding. And relax. Definitely have a breather, though. Definitely have a breather right now. That's one down, three to go. All right, you got six seconds. Four more seconds. And away you go. All right, second set on these. Getting the feet round about shoulder width apart is going to make it a little bit more difficult as well. You can have the feet together if you want to, but a little bit of separation in the feet is going to make it a little bit more difficult. All right, you've got 10 seconds left on this. Last seven. Four more seconds. And relax there, well done. Okay, 10 seconds for your third set kicks in. Three more seconds. And away you go. All right, third set. Really push into the handles with these, with the heels. Gets the back part of your body, what we call the posterior chain, work it a bit more. So really drive your heels into those rubber handles or the foam handles, depending on which T-Rex you got. All right, you got 10 seconds left on this one. Three or four. We got your hamstring curls coming up after this. I always joke that uh, at least you get to lie down on your back for the hamstring curls, right? And relax. Well done. All right, 10 seconds. Last seven. So fourth and final set on these. Then we're going into your hamstring curls. And away you go. So fourth and final set. Take your time. Get your, Make sure your hands are round right about shoulder width and they're directly underneath your shoulders. Okay, you've got 18 seconds left. Hamstring curls will be up next. Right, 10 seconds. Can you keep that plank? Even if you go, oh my God, I'm dying here, and you just want to hold the plank position, feel free to do that for another three seconds. And relax, well done. Right, so T-Rex hamstring curls, they're going to be mid-calf length, so just roll yourself over. Drop both of your heels in. Remember, if you need to adjust your foot cradles, make them as big as possible. You've got four seconds. Ready? And away you go. Now, with these hamstring curls, if you can lift your hips up off the ground, they only need to be, like, just off the ground, just enough that you can get a piece of paper in between your bum cheeks and the ground. And then you're going to draw your knees in and extend your legs out. By lifting the hips up, does make it a bit more, uh, how can we put this, spicy. Makes it a bit harder. You've got nine more seconds. All right, five more seconds. Three more seconds on this first set. And relax there, well done. All right, pop your heels back down on the ground. Have a breather. Not your heels, I meant your hips. <gasps> Anatomy 101, every time. Okay, six seconds. Three more seconds. Ready, and away you go. All 
Okay, 24 seconds on this second set. Now, if the hips up is making it hard enough, that's great. No problems. If it's not hard enough, what else can you do? I'll wait for your answers on a postcard. All right, you can slide further away. So get your head further away from that anchor point using the pendulum principle. That will make it harder still if you need to. Okay, you got three seconds on the second set. And relax. Okay, chill. Have a breather. Grab a quick drink of water if you can roll on over and grab it. You got eight seconds for your third set coming up. Three more seconds. Okay, third set and away you go. So you got the hips up. Now you've slid further away from the anchor point and realized that, that is an absolutely horrific and it was a stupid idea. How could you make it easier? Could you put your hips back down on the ground? Yes, you could. Could you slide closer towards the anchor point? Yes, you could. That's going to make it easier as well. You've got 10 seconds on this third set. With your high rows after this. And relax there. All right. So you've got one more set on these hamstring curls, and then we're going to be into your high rows. Okay, you've got five seconds. Almost there. And away you go. Fourth and final set on these hamstring curls. Now, if you've still got your hips up on this fourth set, amazing. Keep it up. 20 seconds left. If you haven't, yeah, I know what you mean. You've got 12 seconds. All right, last nine seconds. So we've got the high rows coming up. That's going to be fully short, and we're going to be standing facing the anchor point. Two more seconds. And relax. So bring yourself up and out. Okay, high rows are up next, so it's fully shortened. Standing facing that anchor point, the elbows are going to be in line with the shoulders. You're slowly going to relax on back. The arms are lengthen, and then you row yourself back up and in. And away you go. This is your first set. Let's go. Getting a nice squeeze between the shoulder blades on this one. Elbows are going to stay nice and high. Same with the eye rows. You know, I said when people get tired, they're... Their hands either start to creep out into like a Y row or they creep out into a T row. This is the same with the high rows. People get tired, they tend to drop their elbows. It comes into a mid row or a low row. You've got five more seconds on this first set. All right, relax there. All right, 10 seconds for your second set on these high rows. Last five. Three more seconds, so get ready for your second set, and away you go. Same drill. You can move the feet forwards to make it harder and backwards to make it easier. Just watch out for that, though, because even the smallest movement of the feet all of a sudden starts ramping up the effort level on these. Okay, 15 seconds on your second set. Ten more seconds. Last five. And relax, great stuff. Two down and two to go. So two down and two to go on these high rows. We do have your flies up next. They're going to be fully lengthened and we're going to be standing facing away from the anchor point. You've got four seconds before your third set. All right, and away you go. So third set on your high rows. Keep that plank position locked in. I know you'll start around right about now to be thinking of your shoulders and your upper back. But don't forget about driving your heels into the ground. And squeezing those bum cheeks, getting those glutes taut and tight. You got 13 seconds. 10 seconds. Keep the chin up off the chest as well. Eyes on the anchor point. And relax there. That's three down and you got one left. Three down, you got one left. And that's going to be your flies. Right, fourth and final set coming up. And away you go. So fourth and final set on your high rows. Ten seconds already gone. Okay, ten seconds. Last five. 
three more seconds two one and relax let's get ready for these trx flies they're going to be fully lengthened standing facing away from the anchor point start with the fist out in front of you with a slight bend in the elbow open up those arms let the hips and chest move forward as one solid surfboard all right and away you go then you're going to come together hands are going to come together slight bend in the elbow still a nice squeeze in the chest so you get a little squeeze in the chest when you're at the top and you feel that real stretch and pull across the front of the chest and into the pectoral muscles when the arms are out to the side. You have 10 seconds left on this first set. Okay, five seconds left, first set. And relax there, way, way to go. Okay, 10 seconds. So readjust the feet if you need to. Put one foot in front of the other for a little bit extra stability if you need to. Okay, and away you go. So let those arms lengthen on the way down. Well, not necessarily lengthen, open, I should say. Keep a slight bend in the elbow. You don't want to lock the arms straight. Put excess pressure on your elbow that way. 15 seconds. You don't want to leave your ass behind as well. So if you need to, you can have a look down. Are your hips coming forwards with you, or are you leaving your ass behind and breaking at the hips? And relax there. Great stuff. All right, two down and two to go. You have your side plank after this. Five seconds. And away you go. Third set. Keep the chin up off the chest. Don't let your head drop down. Keep your head mass out of your neck space. 15 seconds, third set. Last nine seconds. Okay, keep that body nice and long and strong. Surfboard. And relax. Okay, so that's three down. You've only got one left. Hallelujah. Last 10 seconds. So fourth and final set coming up, and then we're into those side planks. When we get to the side planks, you can put your feet in or out, whatever challenges you. Okay, and away you go, wherever you're up to on those side planks. So fourth and final set on these TRX flies. Okay, 10 seconds gone. Last 15. You have 10 seconds left. Okay, last five. Three, two, one, and you are done. Get yourself ready for your side planks. Now that's going to be mid-calf length, ground sideways to the anchor point. You're going to stack one elbow underneath the other and one hip over the other. Your top leg is going to be in front. Get yourself ready, and up you come. So bring yourself up, lock it in. Drive the heels away from the head. All right, 10 seconds already gone. Now we are going to do two sets one side, two sets the other. So we, uh, we'll soon find out which is your stronger side. All right, eight seconds on this first set. Last three seconds. Get yourself ready to have a well-earned breather and relax. Well done. Take yourself down. All right, so you've got one more set this side before you roll on over. Like I say, you can either have your feet in. If you do need to take your feet out to keep the form and the uh, technique nice and high, then do that instead. Okay, bring yourself up. Second set on this one. Push the heels away from your head, just like you would do in a plank if you were facing the ground. Fifteen seconds left. When we change sides, we're going to roll towards the ground. We're going to keep on rolling. I'm going to stack one shoulder over the other. If you roll onto your back to change sides, your feet tend to fall out. Three seconds, two, one, and relax there. Okay, set yourself down. Roll yourself over onto your opposite shoulder. You've got ten seconds. Last five. Okay, get ready. You're coming up, and away you go. Bring yourself up. Push those hips up into the ceiling. Only two sets this side. I know it's four sets in total, but 
Just think, it's only two sets this side. We got a one arm low row after this. Okay, 13 seconds on your first set off this side. Third set in total. Eight seconds. You don't have to hold it for the 30 seconds, guys. If you need to come down and have a breather in those 30 seconds, you can. And relax, but you're definitely having an imposed 15 seconds breather now. All right, eight seconds before you come on up. Five more seconds. And away you go. All right, bring yourself up. Get long and strong, taut and tight. From head to heel, strong as steel. You know the drill. Don't need to tell you. 20 seconds. All right, 15 seconds left. What are we into next? That TRX one-arm low row. That's going to be mid-length and single-handed mode. You have seven seconds left on these side planks. Last five. And relax. Okay, take yourself down to the ground. And it's uh, bring yourself up. Mid-length, single-handed mode. Stand facing the anchor point. Start with that left elbow. Rip past the rib cage. Ready. And away you go. So a TRX one arm low row. Keep that body. One, long and strong. Two, no rotation. So if you're holding it in the left hand, which I hope you are, don't let that right shoulder rotate away from the anchor point. Okay, you've got 14 seconds. Last 10. Keep the left shoulder away from the left ear. And relax. Well done. All right. One down with one to go. Okay. Four more seconds. And away you go. Second set. Keep the chin up off the chest. Eyes on the anchor with this one. You can ghost the left hand. So in other words, put your right hand out in front of you and imagine you're gripping a handle in your right hand and just mirror image them. You've got seven seconds. Four more seconds on this second set on your left hand side. And relax there. Well done. All right. You've got to change hands now. So grip it in your right hand. See if you can feet the, keep the feet in the same position as you have done on your left hand side. Okay. Five seconds. All right, your third set is now. So get yourself going. Third set, but our first set off the right-hand side. Okay, 15 seconds gone on this one. 15 seconds, there we go. So right hand and right hand only now. Really r drive that right elbow past that rib cage. Imagine somebody was behind you. You're trying to elbow them, okay? Three more seconds. And relax. Okay, you got seven seconds. Okay, three seconds. Get yourself ready. And away you go. So your fourth and final set in these one-arm rows. Second set of the right-hand side. You will have bicep curls with a punch up next. Okay, you've got 15 seconds. Last 10. Okay, five more seconds on this one. Then get ready for your bicep curl with a punch. Two, one, and relax. Okay, T-Rex bicep curl with a punch. You've got mid-length. Stand facing the anchor point. Start with the fists up by the temples. You're slowly going to relax on back. Bicep, curl yourself back up, fist to temples, and then punch one hand into the ceiling. And away you go. So, mid-length, stand facing, start with a fist up by the temples. Keep the elbows nice and high. Relax on back, bicep curl up, punch one of the hands up into the ceiling. The hard bit and the trick is keeping even pressure through those handles when you add the punch. You've got eight seconds on this first set. Three more seconds. And relax. Now, you might be thinking it, and you might want to ask it. Do I stay two sets one side, two sets the other, or can I alternate the punches? That's entirely up to you. What do you fancy doing? OK, 
Okay, do you want to alternate them or do you want to stick to either side? You decide, but away you go for your second set. Okay, 20 seconds. Keep that plank position locked in. No movement through the hips. Don't be breaking in the hips. You got seven seconds. And relax. All right, two down and two to go. Two down and two to go. We will be finishing with those tricep presses after this. Your third set of the bicep curl with the punch is in three, two, one, and away you go. So third set, bicep curl with a punch. If this gets too much or it's just not working for you, just do bicep curls. It's not a problem. Just nail those bicep curls. Regardless whether it's bicep curls or bicep curl with a punch, fists are coming up to the temples only. Keeping the elbows nice and high. Don't let those elbows drop down to the side. Kind of turns into like a row punch type thing then. All right, I'm relaxed there. You have one more set on these bicep curl with a punch. Then we're going to be changing out to your final exercise, 10th and final exercise, which is going to be your tricep press. Three seconds, two seconds, one second, and away you go for your fourth and final set of your bicep curl with a punch. Okay, 20 seconds left. Last 15. 10 seconds. Okay, five more seconds on this. Three more seconds, get ready for your tricep press coming up and relax. All right, TRX tricep press is going to be mid-length, standing facing away from the anchor point. We're going to start with the fist out in front of us. We're going to drop the elbows forward and down, keeping those elbows tucked in. And then we're going to crush those elbows, uh, crush those hands out in front of us. Okay, and away you go. First set on these. Slight adjustment of the feet can make the biggest of difference on these, as always with a lot of our exercises. Moving the feet forward on this one is going to make it easier, and moving them backwards is going to make it harder for you. You have 13 seconds. All right, seven more seconds. Biggest thing with this, what's it built off? Built off a strong plank. You've got to get that locked in. And relax. Okay, one down, three left. Last eight seconds. Final four, three, two, second set, one, and away you go. Second set on these, tricep press. Okay, already 10 seconds in on your second set. Same thing like with the flies. You can put one foot in front of the other just to help out with a bit of stability if you need this. You've got nine seconds. Okay, five more seconds. And relax. Right, that's two down. You are halfway through on these tricep presses. Only two left. Once you've nailed the final two, that's it. You're done. Workout complete. Four seconds. Third set coming up now. So your third set, guys. Off you go. Ten seconds in on this third set. Shake the arms off if you need to. Self-check yourself. Are you breaking at the hips? Are you leaving your ass behind? Or are you in a nice straight line from your ears, your shoulders, your hips, your knees, your ankles? Four more seconds. And relax. All right, you've got ten seconds. Fourth and final set coming up, guys. Once you've nailed this fourth and final set, you are done. Ready? Four seconds. Speaking of fours, three, two, one. And away you go. Your final 30 seconds on this session. Crush those handles out in front of you. Keep those elbows close in. Don't let them fan out to the side. 20 seconds left, crew. As always, thank you so much for jumping in. Very much appreciative of you uh, working out with us. Outstanding. Last 10 seconds. Hope you've enjoyed it, guys. Finish strong. you got seven more seconds.
All right, you got three, two, one.